This video covers Power SDR KE9 NS version 2.8.0.67 and all the um, features I've added since the last video. Uh, the first thing I added since the last video was uh, in the, the SWR plotter. Uh, right here I've added a run recorder so you can record up to five uh, SWR uh, plots on the screen. Right here you're seeing a plot I ran. Uh, it, if there's a, another plot it would show it like we're at plot number two but there, there's nothing. I haven't had a plot number two. But you can do up to five per antenna per band uh, so that you can let's say tune your antenna and you can look to see how it affected the entire band. So uh, this this run keeps track of up to five you know five different uh, plots you might make on the same antenna. That's the first. The next I added was the uh, SWL, the shortwave search. Uh, you click that, you can go straight in as opposed to you used to have to go right here and activate the search. So now you click this and it'll aut automatically turn on the uh, shortwave listings which are in these purple lines. Uh, you just as before you can click around uh, anywhere in here just simply click on on that and it'll take you to those um, that part of the band uh, you can also click over here if you wanna go directly if I wanna like look up facts any any faxes um, these would be all the the faxes that supposedly are on right now uh, from around the world you can see where some of them are there's a the fax right there and uh, just wipe it out if you want to go back to the general search and then occasionally hit this update list so that it refreshes based on the time and then you, you can still go in and activate it here if you want you can turn it on and off uh, right from from here you can turn that feature on and off. Uh, the blue lines here are my memories. Uh, you know, if you go up to memory here, and I've added these in my memory uh, memory area. Now, uh, the next feature I've added is the hang time. Oops, let's see. Options. Uh, do, do hardware config. PTT hang timer. So uh, what this does is, is when you key your microphone, you unkey if this is activated. In this case, it would add, it would keep the radio keyed for another 50 milliseconds. It doesn't affect the MOX button here or the CAT commands, just the microphone input and the, the keyed input in the back of the radio. That's part of this PTT timer. Uh, the next feature I've added, let's go back to... Uh, one of the bands and the next feature I've added is with the AM mode um, if there's somebody transmitting AM let's see if you're, you're on the AM band and then let's say there's some interference and you really want I mean you can always pull this out to get rid of some interference but if you pull it across the line to the other side of the line it actually goes into sideband mode even though it still says you're in AM it's actually in this case upper sideband it, when you transmit, um, it will transmit on AM, but receive it'll be uh, sideband. And then if you grab it and pull it back, now you're receiving AM and transmitting AM. So that's that feature. You can pull it across either side. You can go um, to lower sideband or, or upper sideband. Next feature is the screenshot right here. Uh, right click on this will open up the folder that contains your screenshots. So let me get rid of these two screenshots here. Close that folder. Now if I, I click on this button, right click, and there's the screenshot. This is of just the, the, the pan fall area. Now if I go in to set up user interface and I click full console here, close out. Now when I hit I'm taking a screenshot of the entire console so now if I right click you'll see the entire console and then if you want to email this to your friends you just simply drag and drop this image into an email and you can send these high-res images 
Um, same way you can do with uh, Wave and MP3s. Um, the MP3 folder, open up the folder, and then you can just drag and drop these uh, MP3s uh, for audio clips. You know you want to send send to your friends. The uh, next mode you're viewing right now, or the next feature that you're viewing right now, is the 80/20. Normally, a pan fall would be a 50/50. Uh, arrangement like this, and then if you turn on, if you have a second receiver and you turn on, then it gets divided into into uh, four pieces there. So you're only looking at a quarter of each. Uh, now, if you're just in receiver one, it's an 80/20, so it's more like having just a pan adapter, but you get a little bit of recorded memory uh, with the waterfall, just like when you activate the map. Uh, it's, it's it's a similar thing, but this way you don't need the map, and you can put anything you want in there, uh, in this into this area. The uh, the next uh, feature I've added is band text. Um, like you, you, I'm, you're showing right here, things that are in the uh, in the pan adapter uh, are the um, like I'm looking at let's see spots in the pan adapter. I can go in and look at one of these spots on the pan adapter here um, and up here it's telling me what portion of the band I'm in the uh, uh, extra advanced portion now if I right click on this all the spots disappear temporarily and you're left with this which is basically showing you the band text that this area here is all advanced extra and then there's a, a the slow scan television over here uh, and then you meet up with just the general um, sideband section of the band here. We go down to the CW portion. Uh, the lines demar demark the, the edges, and then I put a little text in, in the open areas there. Uh, ready, you know, and you're showing where uh, uh, FT8 and JT65 and the, and the general ready digital areas are, PSK. CW areas. Right click again, turns it off, and turns this back on. You know, turns turns any kind of spotting or memories that you had back on. The last feature I've added is rotor control. Uh, I've always had rotor control here. Uh, if you if you click on a spot, if you if you click on a spot, it takes you to that in the pan adapter. Uh, but if you click over here, it'll actually rotate the antenna if you have rotor control set up. In this case if you have rotor control set up it puts down the, the screen down here where I can manually, if I don't have a spot on the screen but I know there's a station there and I want to rotate my antenna and I'm, I'm let's say I'm running this remote uh, over here it's showing you where the antenna is currently pointing and this box is what I'm going to set it for. So if I go in here and I change this and I say I want to point it 60 degrees now when I hit rotor now it'll activate uh, through DDUtil will activate, and then now you'll see these numbers start to change as it as it tries to get close to 60. So that's where it ended up. But you have to set up rotor control, which is in the setup and the cat control over here, and then you have to open up DDUtil. Uh, I had a video explaining the DDUtil that you got to go in the DDUtil, and um, you have to set. You have to set up the rotor, and then you have to set up the, the matching port. I've got 16 over here. It matches up with 17, and then allows me to um, control the rotor through DDUtil straight to my high-gain rotor. And that's it. That is the end.